Hi, uh, in this video we are going to learn the trigonometric ratios of complementary angles, right? So, what is complementary angle? First we should know that. So, let me draw here a right angle. Suppose this is a right angle, I mean it's a 90 degree. Uh, let me divide this in two parts. This is x degree and this is y degree, okay? So here, sum of x degree and y degree is 90 degree, right? So such angles, right? Such angles whose sum is equals to 90 degree are known as the complementary angles, right? So here, y is the complementary angle of x, and x is the complementary angle of y because both, when combines, forms the 90 degree. That's why they are called complementary angles, right? Now, in this video, we are going to learn the ratios, trigonometric ratios of complementary angle. So uh, let me draw a right, uh, not a right angle. Uh, okay, let's draw a graph first. Suppose this is a graph. Okay, this is x-axis, right, and this is y-axis. Now, by taking origin, I'm taking another uh, line that's forming a right angle triangle, right? So this is a right angle triangle O A B, right? and this is suppose theta degree angle right now let's find out the all trigonometric ratios of this theta degree right so before that we should know the perpendicular base and hypotenuse so we know that the side that is opposite of the angle reference angle is the perpendicular right and the side which is uh, uh, means in which the theta angle, angle reference angle is seated is the base and the longest part is hypotenuse, right? So let's find out one by one now. First one is sine theta. Sine theta is the ratio of perpendicular over base, sorry, hypotenuse. So here perpendicular is the AB and hypotenuse here is the OA, right? And another one, cos theta. Cos theta is the ratio of base, base to the hypotenuse. Here base is the OB and hypotenuse is the OA right and another is tan theta right tan theta is the ratio of base to the perpendicular here perpendicular is the AB right and the base is the OB right now uh, further find out uh, that's cosec theta right the cosec theta is the ratio of hypotenuse to the perpendicular so it is you can see also the reciprocal of this sine theta means p upon h so here will be h upon p that is oa upon oa upon p right uh, sorry the hypotenuse is the oa yeah oa upon ab right hypotenuse here see here hypotenuse here is the oa upon ab right now another is sec theta sec theta is the ratio of hypotenuse over base or we can say the reciprocal of this cos theta that is OA upon OB OA to the base right now another one cot theta right that's called cot theta cot theta is the ratio of base over perpendicular right so let me write here perpendicular and the base here uh, base to the perpendicular is also the ratio means uh, ratio program of this tan theta that is OB upon AB right now we find out here the three uh, the, the six trigonometric ratios of the theta angle now uh, here again let's find out first the complement of this theta angle the complement of this theta angle is this one right and this is since this is 90 degree so the sum of these two must be 90 degree so this is theta then this must be 90 minus theta right let me change the color and then do it will be more better right so this must be oh right so this must be 90 minus theta this angle is 90 minus theta so as we have taken this as a reference angle so the opposite side must be the our new perpendicular and the new base should be the side in which the angle is seated that is this is the our new base and hypotenuse always remains the same 
means the longest part is always and always the hypotenuse in a right angle triangle those the reference angles are changed hypotenuse remains constant right so let's find out first uh, taking this right first let's find out the sine 90 minus theta sine 90 minus theta right so sine 90 minus theta is of course the P upon H so here P is the OB right and H H is the OA right now again cos 90 minus theta cos 90 minus theta so what is the value of cos 90 minus theta so cos 90 minus theta is always the base to the hypotenuse so our new base is the AB right and our new hypotenuse is the same OA as old one and another is the tan 90 minus theta tan 90 minus theta that is mm, tan 90 minus theta perpendicular over base so our new perpendicular is the OB and the new base that's OB and the new base is the AB right so let's find out another one also that is cosec 90 minus theta right so cosec 90 minus theta is the uh, reciprocal of this 90 minus theta sine 90 minus theta so it will be H upon P that is equals to OA upon OB OA upon OB now another is sec 90 minus theta sec 90 minus theta right so sec 90 minus theta is hypotenuse over base that is OA upon AB fine now another is tan 90 minus theta uh, here so its reciprocal is cot 90 minus theta right cot 90 minus theta so it will be B upon B right B upon P that's B upon perpendicular and it will be AB upon AB upon OB now here we have find out the all six trigonometric ratios of tan theta and its complement that is sine 90 uh, that's uh, 90 minus theta right so theta and the 90 minus theta both are the complement angle so let's compare over here what is matching with which one right here we'll be finding some relationships between the angles right uh, let me change the color good now see here tan sine 90 minus theta right uh, this will be the perfect one this one is the perfect one right sine 90 minus theta is OB upon OA right so OB upon OA let's find out AB upon OA yeah here OB upon OA right so it is matching with the OB upon OA OB upon OA let's find out uh, with other also it is matching or not OB upon OA OB upon OA OB upon OA no one right so sine 90 minus theta is equals to cos theta that is OB upon OA right or you can say sine 90 minus theta is cos theta or cos theta is sine 90 minus theta now another one that's AB upon OA that is cos 90 minus theta AB upon OA oh it's in the first one only right here let's find out another one no one is here right so we can say sine theta is equals to cos 90 minus theta or cos 90 minus theta is equals to sine theta another one that's tan 90 minus theta is P upon B that is OB upon AB now find out OB upon AB OB upon AB no one no one oh yeah here right so tan 90 minus theta is equals to cot theta or cot theta is equals to tan 90 minus theta we can say in both way another is cosec 90 minus theta that is OA upon OB let's find out OA upon OB OA upon AB O A upon O B yeah here C cosec 90 minus theta is equals to sec theta or you can say sec theta is equals to cosec theta another one that's sec 90 minus theta that is O A upon O B let's find out from here O A upon A B yeah here right so sec 90 minus theta is equals to cosec theta right another is cot 90 minus theta which is equals to A B upon OB so AB upon OB let's find out here yeah here see it's AB upon OB so we can say that cot 90 minus theta is equals to tan theta right so this is our all trigonometric uh, ratios uh, of complementary angle and their relationships let me summarize over here with 
different color right this one so what we have find out that sin 90 minus theta is equals to cos theta right we recently find out that sin 90 minus theta is equals to cos theta and cos 90 minus theta is equals to sin theta just recently above we have we have find out cos 90 minus theta is equals to uh, sin theta another one is tan 90 minus theta is equals to cot theta right similarly what we found here that cosec 90 minus theta is equals to sec theta right we recently found out here cosec theta 90 minus theta is equals to this sec 90 minus theta right sorry sec theta so now another one is uh, sec 90 minus theta is equals to cosec theta yeah sec 90 minus theta is equals to cosec theta and another one the last one is cot 90 minus theta is equals to tan theta right this cot 90 minus theta is equals to tan theta we recently find out so these are the uh, six complementary angle uh, right and their relationship with each other right so you must know this uh, before proceeding for the problems so thank you for listening and uh, in next videos we will be doing lots of problems that will clear more better in this chapter okay bye